name is George Ankuma Mensa, aka G Sprite, and I'm here to answer the two most frequent asked questions by guitar students. First, how do you find a key? And second, after finding out this is key so so and so, how do you know this is my do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do? How do you know which chord to progress to from the root? This is the question I'm here to answer today. I'm going to draw your attention to an important system we call the cage system. And that is one important tool, one important system for finding keys. What is the cage system? Cage is C A G E D, and each one stands for a chord. C for chord C, A for chord A, G for chord J, E for chord E, and D for chord D. The cage system. C A G E D. This is the shape of key C. And what is the shape of key A? Is this. What is the shape of key G? I'm talking in I'm talking of the open chord, the open chord shape of C A G E D. This is the shape, the open C. This is the open A. This is the open G. This is the open E. And this is the open D. Cage. I'm not going to waste too much time on this because of the diagram that I'm showing right behind me. So if you can't locate my finger on the board, you can trace it from the diagram. This is an important system to find our key. One. This is my C. And the cage system is telling us we can locate so many different shapes for one particular chord on the guitar fretboard. Once we've agreed this is our C and our root, how do we find our next C on the board? Here we are talking about shapes. When we talk of the cage system first, we are talking about shapes. So if this is C, my root starts here on the fifth. To get a different shape for key C, stand at the same place where your root was and build this shape. So I stand here with my root here and build my shape. We want the A shape, which is also C, it becomes this. Where does this one ends? Where this one ends, that's where the G shape begins. So this is the G shape with the bar here. So we have C, A, G. They are all C, but they are being formed from the different shapes of the cage system. So we formed one from C, we formed the other from A, we formed other from G, from E, and from D. Now what are we looking for? We are looking for the E shape. And this is where our last finger ends. That's where we are going to build the E shape. If you can recall, this was our lowest note here. We started from this and we got the A shape here. The next one is simple. We are going to start from here, where the pinky is, and build the E shape. Four different shapes of C. They are all C. They are all C. What is the E shape? The E shape is this. So, assuming there were no notes, this would be the shape. Then the bar will be behind the nut. So, this is the shape you are going to move across the board to locate the next shape. So, E, F, F sharp, J, J sharp, A. A sharp, B, C. So, we have another C shape here. And that shape is, got, is gotten from E. It's the same shape here. So, that's the next shape on the K system. We have one more to go, which is the D shape. This is the D. So without a nut, this is how it would have been. So if I go here, it becomes E flat. E, F, F sharp, J, J sharp, A, A sharp, B, C. So that's the last shape. In a nutshell, this is a system. A shape, A shape, the J shape. The E shape and the D shape. One, two, three, four, five. Cage system.
in a song any of these shapes could be our chord one so what does it mean we've been able to locate about five different shapes of the same chord c on the board so assuming we are playing a song like saladugan song dada you now try to play someone can pick his wood from here someone can also pick So pick his wood from this position. This is a quarter note. This is among the notes in the chord. So it's a quarter tone. So we have one here. We have another here. And we have another here. So one here at the third, one is at the eighth, one is at the twelfth. And I can build chords on this. And I'm not going to experiment. Do what we call try and error using the cage system. So once I locate this one here, so then I would now find out which of these chords will go with this. So this one can go. What am I doing? I'm only forming a chord whose highest note will be on the melody note. And so, so this chord will go with it. can also find his ring here. Me, tell me. So the essence of what we are trying to do today is to try to locate different shapes of the same chord across the board. Now how do we locate the other? In Ghana, we usually use this chord 1, 4, 5 and sometimes 6. So I'm not going to locate my chords 1, 4, 5 around the various shapes we've located. If this is my chord 1, how do I find my chord 4? How do I find my chord 2, 3, 6, 4, 5? This is my 1. My chord 2 is this, D minor. My chord 3 is D minor. My chord 4 is F major. My chord 5 is D. My chord 6 is A minor. My chord 7 is B Back to my chord one. So simple, right? In fact, all I'm trying to say is you would have to memorize these shapes. This is my You see, I'm I'm landing on the other door, the C A on the A shape. But I want to draw your attention to certain things, certain shapes. If this is my one, it's so easy finding my five. This is my one, remain at the same position and change to five. You can remain at the same position and change to four. This is the shape for four. I'm using the fifth, four, and six as my root note. So one, so I, I built the first one on one. And my five is this, so I build this one on. So I can move the same two frets away to get my five. This way, or I can remain here for my five. So my one is possible. So if this is my root, where is my far? This is my far, and this is my so root far so far so. That's one point I want to draw your attention to. You can always get the soul from far by moving two frets with the same shape. Almost all the time.
subscribe, like it, leave a comment. And hey, don't forget to share it. What did I say? I said like it, leave your comment, and share for the continuity of this tutorial. See you in my next video.